everyone welcome to java expert in today's video we will discuss about asynchronous messaging design pattern in microservices architecture what is asynchronous messaging design pattern normally when you are calling a service for example we have a microservices a and microservices b if we call a service a to b so a service will invoke the request to b service i will wait for the response right till we are getting the response from the b service a services hold the particular thread for the response so that is called synchronous messaging in case of asynchronous message the sender service will send the message and it will forget it basically it won't wait for the response from the receiver service so the receiver service will receive the message by its own time and that will process it right so that is called asynchronous messaging design pattern asynchronous messaging design pattern enable us to loose couple the services basically decouple the services asynchronous messaging design pattern help us to improve the performance scalability and reliability so when we need this asynchronous messaging design pattern so based on which we have to design a microservices with asynchronous messaging design pattern right so we may have a multiple you no know, more number of services so we may need to interact basically inter service communication it is must when you are designing a microservice architecture right so when you want to know improve the performance and you want to know completely you know you want to decouple the services and you want to scale independently in that cases we have to use the asynchronous messaging design pattern so that even the particular service is not available the other service will not get any impact it will run as it is being designed right because when we are going to implement a microservices application you no know, based on microservices architecture if we are going to use asynchronous messaging design pattern we have to use message brokers right so even the targeted service is not available the message will be stored in the message brokers once the once the targeted service is up and running it will receive the message from the message broker and it will process it so that's the beauty of asynchronous messaging design pattern so so one of the you know a uh, very important design pattern in the microservices architecture if you want to know design any application using microservices architecture you have to consider this design pattern very carefully and wherever it is required you have to implement it properly so this is a simple diagram how the you know the asynchronous messaging design pattern looks like so very simple diagram you see that client will initiate the request to service one now the service one wants to you now send a request to service two so if it is a synchronous call it will initiate the request it will be the synchronous uh, you know direct some kind of http request sent to service two and it will wait for the response in case of asynchronous we will have a message broker between service one and service two so service one will place the message into message broker and that's it you no know, service one will forget the request and service 2 will receive the message from the message broker and it will process it right so this is a uh, example where we are going to implement it so we will be developing a order service and we are going to develop a dispatch service and in between we are going to place the kafka uh, messaging service basically uh, kafka topic so this is a you know practical example we are going to do that so here we are going to use kafka messaging service for the message broker so steps to implement asynchronous messaging design pattern so these are the things we have to follow in order to implement the asynchronous messaging design pattern the first step is understand asynchronous messaging design pattern which we did now so whatever no very basic thing i have been explained to you what is asynchronous messaging design pattern means i hope you understand that the next step is we are going to understand very basic concepts of kafka messaging service we are going to understand what is messaging service and what is kafka messaging service and we are going to install kafka messaging service in our system so that's going to be the next video for us and the last video for this uh, asynchronous messaging design pattern will be we are going to implement asynchronous messaging design pattern in microservices architecture by integrating kafka with spring boot so and the last video we are going to demonstrate you know how asynchronous messaging design pattern will works and we are going to use spring boot to implement and we are going to integrate with kafka for the message brokers
all right so that's it for this video guys so i hope you understand the theory part of asynchronous missing descent pattern so i'll see you in the next video uh, we will learn about kafka messaging services and we will install and we will test that thank you guys i'll see you soon